Don't drop a single anchor, we're almost home. Through every toil and danger, we're almost home. How many pilgrim saints have before? This land is calling, we're almost home, and not a tear shall fall, then we're almost home. Make ready now your souls for that kingdom come, no turning back, we're almost home, almost home, we're almost home. So press on that blessed shore oh praise the lord we're almost home this journey ours together we're almost home unto that great forever we're almost home what song a new will sing round that high Just a vapor, we're almost home. That sun is setting yonder, we're almost home. So take courage, for this darkness shall break to dawn. Oh, lift your eyes, we're almost home. Almost home. on toward that blessed shore we'll praise the lord we're almost home almost home we're almost home so press on toward that blessed shore oh praise the lord we're almost home Amen. Well, welcome to church today. Why don't you stand and join me in singing Christ, Our Hope in Life and Death this morning. Right, join me in singing. What is our hope in life and death? Christ alone, Christ alone. soul. God is good. Our God is good. Where is his grace and goodness known? In our great Redeemer's blood, who holds our faith when fears arise, who stands above the stormy trial. 
smile who sends the waves that bring us nigh unto the shore the rock of christ oh sing hallelujah our hope springs eternal oh sing hallelujah now and ever we confess christ our hope in life and death seated this morning. Thank you. Jesus Christ is our hope in life and in death, and we are so thankful to see you on this first Sunday of the new year. Happy New Year. And we want to say to you, thank you for prioritizing your faith. Whether you are joining us in the room or you are joining us by virtual means, we are so thankful that we get to participate with you in worship, and this is how we begin our year together. We want to connect with you, and we do that by way of a service called Flocknote. And right there from your smartphone, you can text FIRSTBG to 84576, FIRSTBG to 84576, and that'll bring up an interface where you can choose how you interact with us and what you hear from us. Uh, you can also connect with us by way of Flocknote through our website at firstbaptistbg.org. But here at about 1120, we will send you a virtual bulletin that you can use to navigate your way through the service and to know what's coming this week in the life of our church. We want to say welcome to Austin and Leah Clark. Austin may look familiar to you, one, because you've seen him before, but he looks a lot like Ricky Clark, and there's a reason for that. And so, not just that, not just that. But uh, Austin is the minister of music at First Baptist Church of Seymour, Tennessee, and they have been kind enough, he and his wife Leah, to bring their grandkids to visit their grandparents. And so, they put them to work. And so, Austin, we're thankful, and Leah, we're thankful that you're here and leading us in worship. Uh, we are reading God's Word together this year again, and it's not too late to get started, okay? We're working through Robert Murray McShane's reading plan. Robert Murray McShane was a Scottish pastor who developed this reading plan in the 19th century, and I'm going to tell you, I worked through it last year. You're going to love it. So we would encourage you to read God's Word with us. You can access that plan through our flock note, through our website, or even out in the narthex or the church office. But we would love for you to read God's Word with us this year. We found that as we read God's Word together, we meet the author. And he shows us who he is and just how wonderful he is. We are continuing to collect for our Lottie Moon Christmas offering. Our goal is $35,000, and, and because of the storm that came in, we needed to divert our attention for a while. But we are so thankful to continue in that effort. We're currently just shy of $19,000, so we would encourage you to pray about that. All giving to the Lottie Moon Christmas offering goes to benefit international missionaries through the International Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention. And that money 
money goes to benefit them in a big way. Alan and the Lindholm, who have served as missionaries for years, can tell you all about how the Lottie Moon Christmas offering is wonderful and effective to bless missionaries who are carrying out their calling. And we also want you to know that in terms of local disaster relief, we've already seen that 2022 is going to present us with challenges yet again. And we pray for those who were affected by the storms yesterday, uh, both here in town and throughout our region. Um, but you can help. And the best way that we can do that together now is working with our local city leaders. Uh, we would invite you to serve at the BG Strong Disaster Relief Assistance Center. And we have included in our flock note message a link to a sign up genius where you can see exactly what the needs are and you can actually sign up for a shift to go and serve in whatever capacity the Lord may lead you to serve. But that'll be in my letter to you in the flock note message that you'll get here in about six and a half minutes. Well, we have come through the Advent season at First Baptist Church, and it has been an Advent season unlike any we've ever seen together as the body of Christ here at the corner of 12th and Chestnut. And we could talk about it, but we've found that a picture is worth a thousand words, and a moving picture is worth even more. So I want to invite you to turn your attention with me to the screen, and let's see what happened through Advent at First Baptist Church. How do you tell somebody God loves them in the aftermath of all we've seen? I'll remind you of the words of Pastor David Tooley. Show them. Keep showing them. You prayed as the storms hit, and then as soon as the storms passed, you got to work. You sang to our community the truth that God has come near to us in Jesus Christ our Lord and that the message of the incarnation still means everything to a world that is struggling with sin and suffering. Here's the good news about our God. He shows up. Let's pray. Lord, we're so thankful that you show up. Whether we are in a moment of a high or a low or anywhere in between, you are with us. And so, Lord, yet again in this moment, we turn our attention to you and we come to you empty-handed saying, Lord, you are God and we are not. We pray that you would fill us with your spirit to overflowing such that all that we are and all that we do magnifies Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Let me ask you to stand and join us in singing Come Behold the Wondrous Mystery this morning. Never trade. 
Come behold the wondrous mystery, Christ the Lord upon the tree. In the stead of ruined sinners hangs the Lamb in victory. Where can I flee from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my, de my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Please sing with me.
want you to pray with me this morning. Lord, for those of us in the midst of the storms of this life, we ask that you would hold on to us extra tight right now. For those of us who are maybe not, let us look around at those who are and point them to the love of a Savior who will hold them tighter than anything that they can know in this earthly life. Lord, we praise you for your incredible love, for your nature as God Almighty, for all the years that have been, for all the years that are to come, that you reign on your throne, and that you hold on to us with a promise that we get to be with you on the other side of this life. And let that not be something we hold on to for ourselves, but show a world all around us that great love that you have for them as well. In your high and holy name, amen. Thank you. You can be seated. Oh, 